Hey everybody, it's Renee from Wanna Scrap and I'm here today to do a tutorial on how I made my uh, kind of like shabby flower magnets here that I uh, put together for the craft fair. These are so easy you guys and I'll show you what I used. Um, now you can use any type of flower, paper flower. I'm just using these paper flowers that I purchased a while ago from the dollar store. And these magnets are from the Dollar Tree. I'm using some gesso, but you can use some white acrylic paint also if you like. I'm going to use my uh, stickles and some E6000. And for to applying the uh, gesso, I'm going to use a pouncer here. And to cut apart my flowers, I just use um, some wire cutters here. So I just cut it to a certain length here and I just do this just to make sure the flower is not going to fall apart and that way it even helps stick because it's metal so it helps stick on the uh, on the magnet here so I'm just going to get my E6000 And I'm just going to apply it here. Sorry, it's a little bit dried out here. There we go. So yeah, I'm just going to put a little generous amount on the back of the flower. And then it's going to smush the magnet on here. And I'm just going to put it on here. And while that's drying, usually I would give it more time to dry. So I'm just going to take some gesso. And a lot of girls water it down too. I didn't do it for this particular um, one just because I'm kind of running out of time here for the craft fair and I got so many ideas and unfortunately I don't think I'm going to get them all done. But i um, still having fun with it all <laughs> and I still think these turned out absolutely gorgeous. And you could even like put flowers in behind them. I know I'm going to do a lot more with these um, come the spring and uh, closer to Mother's Day craft fairs. And as I said, you just, um, I would wait more for it to dry. But I just put, I'll use this one. I just pushed the stickles all over the flower. I just kept squeezing and squeezing and getting it deep down in there. But definitely wait for that to dry a little bit better because um, otherwise it's just going to keep falling apart here on you and the glue might settle a bit. But that's how easy it is, guys. It is so easy. I'll even do another one here because that's how fast they come together. So I clipped this one a little bit shorter, but that's okay. And actually, I'll do the uh, gesso first. And if you want a more muted look, as I said, you can water this down. Just put in another little container, water it down. Now this isn't completely wet, but I just apply my stickles everywhere. I get it deep down in there. And these are so gorgeous. I, like I know the camera's not doing it justice because I can see on the camera, but they're so beautiful. They really are, they're, they're so pretty. I'm definitely keeping a couple for myself because I just love them so much. And who doesn't like magnets? Whether it's for a list or for kids' projects. And that's how easy it is. Super easy, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Any questions, please leave them in the uh, comment section below. And I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Bye for now.